Last time on Metaphor Refantasio. Fleeing from the northern border fort, our heroes have a new mission. Assassinate Luis Guiburn to save the kingdom. The quickest route to his next location is through the Nord Mines, and it is here we are intercepted by Captain Klinger, who wants us dead no matter the cost. Learning Luis was responsible for his village's destruction, in his rage, Stroll awakens to the archetype and cuts the captain down. Now unfettered, the party marches further into the mines. Hello everyone and welcome back to Metaphor Refantasio. Last time, holy crap, Stroll awoken to his power in a pretty bombastic way. I'm not hating on the main character, but my god, he, he's got competition. And in this episode, we uh, expand the archetype system as we investigate the Nord Mines. And my god, I got a lot to just say about the narrative so far. I think we can pretty much parse what's going on with Stroll, why he was so eager to help people, so eager to jump into danger, even to take on a human he had no chance of defeating. It's called Survivor's Guilt, and that is, uh, yeah, kind of dark. No, it's very dark. But now I think things are going to turn around for him. Since, well, we have some motivation to change the whole world. We also were introduced to more here inside his prison, I guess. And I totally butchered what I was talking about last episode. It was really late at night, but there are two mores in our real world. There is the real guy who wrote a book. And inside the book is another more his self-insert. Literally his self-insert. And then we have more from Metaphor Refantasio. Are they all related in some way? Probably. Please do make oh, wow. Yeah, let's start with these lectures, though. But uh, if you enjoy the series, show the videos some support, all that crap. I just gotta dive right in. So let's uh, chat about archetypes. An archetype is the embodiment of heroic virtue. Everyone bears one deep in their heart. In facing a looming threat, you face your own anxiety and so awaken to a higher power within yourself. That is the truest essence of magic. I love that. That's so cool. Yet for it to take that form, surely it is a manifestation of the heroic embodiment etched most prominently in your heart. This appearance they take on, like extraordinary suits of armor. Perhaps this makes another purpose, to protect the wielder from the terrible anxiety being released. Dang. And I'm gonna look like I'm gonna look like I copied this, but you guys will see in a month what I'm talking about. But I'll, I'll save that for later. It inspires a certain glow in battle, as if facing your anxiety causes determination to surge in you, like blood through veins, throughout both body and weapon. You and your friends never cease to amaze me. Surely this mean leaps and bounds from my research. Research documents and the archetypes are kept in their respective bookshelves. All right, I guess we'll hit that up. Aside from that. I've also documented battle tactics and history that you find useful for your further growth. Thanks, bro. All this talk about blood and hearts, though, I... Listen, let's just say I've been working on something, and it is eerily similar to this. People are gonna call me a fraud, bro. They'd be like, mm, you made that. You, you ripped that off. I did it, I swear. Some things just happened like that. In times of yore, there lived heroes who sought relentlessly to unravel the secrets of magic. Their souls, together, formed the power of the mage. Among them, the adept who grasps the ultimate power I dub wizard, and the elite who commands the element I dub elemental master. In addition, another elite form making use of dark magics is known to exist. Truly, the mage archetype has unparalleled command of affinity-based magic, but mages devote themselves fully to mind and magla. While the mind is powerful, it must kneel before pure strength at times. Let no mage forget this truth. So, it's a great archetype for hitting enemy weaknesses, powerful magic. Can't really dish out damage or take much punishment. Okay, kind of a glass cannon sort of deal. I noticed there's emblems at the top. I mean, I noticed that since the first trailer, but is there anything else in here? Oh, it's locked. Huh. Oh, so these things open once we get new archetypes. I see. So if the mage is the magic part, then what is the seeker exactly? Just kind of like an all-rounder? In times of yore, there lived heroes who ventured into unknown lands pursuit of their ideals, their souls together form the power of the Seeker. This is not just one legendary hero. Across many lands and eras, those intrepid spirits who sought greater heights on the Seeker's path have borne that alias. Among them, the Adept, who pursues a magical path I dub Magic Seeker, 
and the elite who seeks the deepest truths of soul. I dub the soul hacker. <laughs> oh, jeez. So the seeker archetype has a whole subsequential lineage? Guess so. The seeker archetype does not excel at any one skill, but bears the specialties of many other heroes. Okay. So maybe we can inherit other skills. I see. That won't be able to inherit a lot. It's easy to use, but it's not enough to fight alone. Guess fighting with special allies might be the thing that draws out its true power. Oh, okay, so more ally reliant. Well, let's be real, we all know what a warrior does. How do we get out of here more? Are we, are we gonna talk about that? I guess this is, this is a. Hi, young friend. You are truly as remarkable as I first believed. Others fated to awaken to their own power will be naturally drawn to you. To reach the lineage of power's greatest potential, you must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. After all, a hero without allies is nothing more than a lone dissenter. To save the many, you must learn to fight with the power of many. Only a champion of the people may awaken the power of heroes, and with it, seize a future of their own making. All right, I'll get right on that, but you know, you gotta let me outside the door so I can, I can get started. <sighs> can I go? Am I dismissed? When next you come to see me, I hope it shall be of your own volition. Open my book, then let your imagination conjure this place anew, as vividly as you can make it. I'm sure that will be enough to reunite us. All right, that's sick, I'm ahead out. As long as you walk your path. Oh my God. I shall faithfully watch over you. May we meet again. All right, Toodles, thanks so much. I'm so impatient, I know, but come on. They call me a traveling boy for a reason. I'm trying to travel. What? Where are we? You two all right there? Looked as if you were in some kind of trance. Trance? Wait, have we been here this whole time? It was strange. As if I felt something in the air. My senses sharpened near tenfold. It reminded me of my old days studying magic. Y you a mage? Really? What? So that wasn't a dream. Uh, uh, Grius, that's probably his power. I thought making him a mage was silly. No, it, it worked out. You studied back at the Sanctum, right? I know you couldn't get the hang of it then, but... I think we might have just awakened it told the two of them about the archetypes and the gist of what I learned. Try to be a lot more brief about it than gr stick it more. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Uh. Awakened it? But that? Who are you people? The truth, if you will. Oh man, he's desperate to know. Look, in all honesty, we barely know any more than you do. But the short version is, well, I think you can use that power now. So stop being so grumpy. We did you a favor, dude. Uh, I think you might be right. The way it feels is... Well, this is magic, eh? I'd all but given up on it, but... Fate had other plans, it seems. Enough. We must move on. There is far to go still. And lad, I follow your lead now, at least when it comes to how we use these skills in battle. We haven't the luxury of time to train with magic. All right, so I guess, yeah, now we can directly command him. Same here. You've clearly got a sense for this, and I'd rather make myself useful than muddle your strategies. Oh my god. All right. So, yeah, auto battle tactics. Sick. We've five days until the funeral. That's precious little time, and we'd best not waste it. <laughs> there goes my only complaint so far. Oh, I can't control it. Just kidding. I'm so pumped. Now I'm about to get my butt handed to me. Oh, well, he's just... What's up? Uh, something wrong? No, you're just seeing a phantom guy. I don't sense anything off. What are you on about? So no one else can see him. Maybe we're the only ones who can go to that realm. Well, are you all right? How about? Oh, hey, buddy. I saw a dead miner and assumed there'd been some accident. Looking at it now, that isn't the case at all. Uh, we didn't do it. Swear. What business was they having a place like this? The military? Hold on. Don't tell me they're after the miners. How did you get in here? I'm certain the entrance here was sealed off by soldiers. Soldiers? I didn't see anyone. Only one I saw was that pasty fellow who looked like some kind of general. Is he... Is he... Oh my god, he's talking about Luis. Could he... No, Klinger? Was he pale? 
I don't know. I can't really talk. We left him splayed out over there. Huh? Uh, wait, he's gone. What? He lived? Uh, let's go after him. He bad for us if he returns the reinforcements. No. He couldn't have gotten far. We stole his pants, remember? Leave him be. There's no one else left, I wager. He was bluffing about seeing off the exit. On top of that, failed to finish us off. Won't be able to return to Luis as anything but a disgrace. Sure. All right, let's even be for now at least. It's not like we can go back to the military either, after what he said to us. Hmm. I have no idea what you're all talking about, but I'm relieved. I was worried everyone would be dead here. I'm gonna go around for a while. Need anything? Doodles. Okay, thanks for uh, delivering some info. So yeah, I guess more just kind of follows us around. And try okay, so I do know what this is. Just gives you recommendations for the dungeon, but I wonder. Oh yeah, we can just access the. M Wait, is the memorandum? Is that? Oh no, no, that's the uh, that thing. So I guess we can't actually go to academia anytime we want. That's fine as long as there's enough like more is like sprinkled around. Then how the troops secure the entrance and exit? Think about it now. I should have seen through his bluff. It's my duty to protect you and Galica. I regret to admit my judgment's dulled. So I failed you both. Hey, it's... It all worked out. Come on, be happy. Look at you. All oh, full-fledged. So as now I'm the one being told what to do when it comes to fighting. Time to rely on that power of yours. I'll leave you to lead the battle. And get past this point. Soon find the road to Grand Trad. Can't be late for the royal funeral. Let's hurry. All right, yeah, time's of the essence. <laughs> Tell my mate he's gonna talk to everybody. What can I say? I'm talkative. Can't let Klinga get away. Nah, it's all right. I know this is no time for a relentless pursuit. Doesn't suit well with me. Such a jerk. Above all, the mission is our priority right now. We must reach Grand Trad before the royal funeral. Size of Luis is the mastermind behind all this. There's only one thing for me to accomplish. He must be assassinated. I'll do everything I can to make that happen. I'll continue to count on you. All right, sick. Let's uh head in. Ooh, some people to talk to. That was nearly it for me. Sorry, sorry you got dragged into this. Most of the guard's soldiers aren't unhinged maniacs. If it helps. <laughs> right. Considering you're apologizing, I guess you aren't the bad guys. That's why Kling has stooped to using hostages as bait. With his captain, he certainly had an eye for new recruits. Sure, fight tactic against you alike. I am heartily ashamed. That aside, you're not passing through these caves, are you? You best turn back now. Something nasty is in the air lately. The gelatinous jiggling around here? Oh no. They got General Jiggler up in it. No one's gonna get that. They're not just little jellies anymore. They're downright dangerous. Try chasing them away, but a blade doesn't do much. Fire's our best bet. Okay, fire. Don't used to be so many of them. Now there's so many we might never clear them out. Dang, I kind of, I kind of want to make everybody a mage. But I might just do that. King's funeral's upon us. I'm the time to look for the roots. Yeah. How much so we can do then? We should at least make sure we can use some magic. Okay, that game's just saying like, yo, <laughs> get a magic on your team. I feel emboldened. Anyway, I'm going to. Can I? Can I at least? I wonder. No, it doesn't look like we can change our archetypes outside of Academia, so let's knock that out. And just see if we can also inherit the mage on Will. That's kind of my goal right now. I just want to, you know, I just want to change, like, one archetype. Right, right, okay. Does this eat up a joint resource? I think so. Yeah, 500 mag apiece. I mean, just, just for a little bit. Wait, I'm on hard mode. Am I going to be able to... Oh, I'm already pressing the button. 500 mag. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I guess I all have to like be like that. I hear the voice of past hero souls, a worthy heart who tempers anxiety and strength. So this is the power of the mage's soul. No matter the magic, I shall see to its mastery. For all those who still suffer in this land. Heck yeah. Okay, now we can now we can change it in the main menu. Okay, that's good. That is one uh worry taken care of. I think I will I think I will change that. It's just the way it happens. Pretty sure that changes our melee weapon, though, and that'll suck to get used to, but other than that... I'll be going in further of you. The mining area's felt strange lately. Not just monsters. There's some dangerous magma crystal that mesmerizes them. So this claim. 
I thought if we were superstitious, but either way, it's not normal. Just be on your guard. All right, let's go into the actual dungeon now. I notice we can't press square to attack. Brings up a totally different menu. Okay, there they are. Wow. What's this? Uncanny feeling in the air. This place. The magli here feels awfully dense too. Was it always like this? It was not. This used to be a completely mundane mine shaft. No different from the others. The case. Do you think that's like kind of the telltale sign of a human nearby? Oh God. This is what the miner was talking about before. Something about the interior of the place being unusual. It's not something that we saw top priority. Do not forget that. Up to yourselves now. I have no time to rest until we're through here. Okay. Mind the numbers. Watch your health carefully. Got it. Yeah, we still don't really have a healer per se. We'll work on that with time, but... Oh! Oh! The range is huge! Hey, where, where, where's the rest of the squad? Squad, where are you guys at? Oh, wait, wait. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's hit him with uh, some fire, I guess. I noticed me and... Okay, that's really strong. That was definitely the play. Holy cow. I mean, give me that shock. They directly told us the weakness. Oh, what is this thing? Ew! Oh, crap, crap, crap. Get it, get it, get it, get it. It's got balls! It's got balls on its shit! Oh, dump. That's not good. Three turns. Okay, oh, all right. So each enemy group has an additional turn. Not every enemy gets an additional turn. We got two guys. That is nasty. Look at these little, ooh, look at them. That is, oh, huh. anyway. <laughs> Let's not be bullies. Uh, that sucks. Okay. I can pass my turn to, wait, who's burned? What's going on with, what's going on with Stroll? Excuse me? Why? What'd you get hit by? Oh, uh, that's bad. I don't know what the burn status does. Crud. Okay, but that, that was good damage. Let's just maybe go for the melee. Mm, just shy. That's, that's really, okay. The fire thing was what burned him. So there's new status effects to figure out. That's uh so fun. Oh, a crit too. Yeah, the whole no healer thing kind of sucks right about now. No one to blame but myself. I messed up the before battle chance. Let's just do this. Let's get her turn around. Hit up a healer. Mm, ice chunks. Okay. Let's grab some of these while we're here. And cures burn. All right. Should really should have this guy up before we went. Oh, we got some new weapons. Okay. Do we really need these, though? That's like a lot of resources. Okay, these are definitely what you want to go for then. I guess the priority is always like armor and then accessories. Gonna get some leg guards for the boys and spend the rest of it on healing. Sounds like a good compromise. You ever fight something so ugly you use half your money as a result? <laughs> that, is, that is basically what happened. Ooh, okay. Okay, I got some moves. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. We got it. We got it. We got the sun. Nope. That's neutral. Bummer. This ain't working, bro. You're not even... They're not even worth it. Oh, wait. I got the item. That's not the item button. God dang it. What is the item button? It's this. Okay. <laughs> they moved him around a little bit. Ice chunk. Let's do that. I mean, Stroll's just going to do 100 damage regardless. This will give us an extra turn. So let's go for it. All right. Then, yeah, this way... That did nothing. I'm not a tactical genius. I just screwed up. Whatever. Oh, we can still do that. I didn't tell him to do that. I guess he's still... Oh, okay, whatever. So far, seems like your average mine. Nothing too crazy, but not good. This was all for naught if our way is blocked. What are you talking about? Dude, just get on the ground. <laughs> That's not all either. I'm sensing Magla. The feeling's only getting stronger. It's disturbing. Like back at the fort. Same as the fort. Surely you don't mean. There's a luxury we can't afford right now, lad. Gallica's words are cause for concern. But for now, we need to keep moving. Look. Look close, lad. There's a gap between those collapsed rocks. Should be able to squeeze through if we go one at a time. Me first. <laughs> she didn't say that. I said that. But uh, yeah, just kind of like taking down some repeat monsters. We did acquire a new skill, though, on Will and Grius. 
Have ice skills now, pretty nice. Oh, we have a passive. I didn't realize. An overworld combat recovers MP each time an enemy is stunned or defeat. What the dump? That's huge. That's huge, especially for the early game. Oh, I like that. I'm glad I got, oh, this is cramped. But yeah, the good news is I'm getting a bit better at uh, the actual like combat. Oh, oh God. Mm. But you do kind of get locked in to the magic, uh, or at least the mage-like animation, a fair amount. It's fine. Can't be all powerful, right? But yeah. Now we should be able to take these guys down, no problem. Got some blizz skills. Let's check it out. Okay, okay. As expected. I uh, have a reckoning. Yeah, that's resisted. So let's just knock this one out. But yeah, for the most part, pretty standard RPG stuff. Nothing too crazy. But look at these models, bro. Ooh, it's so... Oh, it's oozing with style, quite literally. <laughs> Weak to all magic, makes sense. Just blast them out of here and move on. Might be able to get the flawless. No, it's literally impossible to get flawless here. Hmm. What should I do then? Well, actually, how many... Oh, crap. Well, definitely not that. Oh, oh well. I keep pressing square to press items. I feel like that's going to be a common thing people talk about. Is it always square for items in previous games? I don't know. It's on start on this. Technically, I could rebind it, but that is silly. Oh, i got to remember to put everybody in the back. I thought I did that. I guess it's like on my battle to battle basis. That's uh not great. We're both mages. We should definitely be in the back, always. I uh, wonder if I can fix that. Oh my god, they thought of everything. <laughs> That's huge. It's truly to call it my favorite game of all time, but... You know, it's up there with Paper Mario and Radiant Historia for best combat system. I'll say that outright. But will it stay that way? I don't know. Oh crap, I missed a chest. Can't have that. Oh, little fellas. All these little fellas. Man, they're already dead. Oh, they're worth a lot of... No, they're worth two EXP. I'm tripping. What is the significance of keeping them around? I have no idea. Oh, that's going on stroll. Easy. For the most part, though, the no healer party ain't so bad. I don't have many complaints. And again, this is like the most simple... That is so cool. Oh, crap. What is that? Oh, it's a red... Uh, is that a red type? Wait, what's the button again? Oh, my God. What? That's so fast! Dude, you blink and it's- oh my god, it's over. That just did 100 damage to my face. Don't you dare. I'm effing dead. I'm eff- You can't- dude. You can't even blink in this game. I didn't even register that as a threat yet. I'm in love, bro. This game- okay, it's a sandworm. There can't be a lot of moisture out there. I got this, bro. I got- oh, he learned new passive. Increase physical skill attack by 10%. Attack increase further if archetypes of the same lineage are present. Okay. So you have a whole band of warriors. Makes sense. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Any chance we can retry? No, no, no. That's silly. That's silly. Two of these attacks should be able to do it. But wait, no, it won't. Oh my god, this thing is strong. Should we just run? We know it's gonna do easily 200 damage next turn. Yeah, I think we have to we have to risk the run. <sighs> dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. Get it. No! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sounded like somebody completely different. Okay. Okay, but well that's resisted. <sighs> Grease, you gotta run. Come on, move those bones. <sighs> that's the worst thing that could happen. I'm gonna game over already? No, come on. <sighs> this game ain't no joke. Fantasy is straight up dead, bro. And we killed it. So, fantasy is only <laughs> fiction. Is it? Shut up, man. Nah, bro, I don't quit. Salty run back. We can get him. We can get. We know his weakness now. Think about it. Think about it. Log on. Log on. Get in. God, this enemy. Ooh, okay. I don't know how I dodged that. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get him. Yes. Yes. We know his weakness now. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Please. Please. That's so much. Do we have a? Do we have a thing? Do we have one more? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I don't care if you're red. You better be dead. Come on. Get it, get it. Oh, no. If Stroll gets correct. Oh, God. I need to put Will in the back. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Give a crit. Get a crit. That's all right. That's our boy. That's okay. We still have two more turns. And then, won't this give us... Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. We just have more than enough damage. Oh, we got a stun. You can get a stun if you keep hitting the weakness. Oh, that's big. That's big. I didn't really show it because it was kind of like a whatever battle, but... Once you hit somebody, oh, I shouldn't, I, I should have finished my sentence. If they're stunned, they skip their turn. But if you hit them, 
that breaks the stun. Now I have to rely on the ice chunk. Please, do enough damage. It's 100. That's pretty high. Just shy. God dang it. And I didn't move Will. He's effing gone. Ain't no way. Oh, strong acid. Okay, but we win. Yeah, all right. I got to remember to put people in the back. Son of a gun. That's not as much EXP as I was hoping for, but we'll, we'll, you know, we'll take it. Mining uniform can be purified at a church. Is it cursed? Oh, no. It's purification. What if it's just literally dirty? It's like, no, no, we're just purifying it. Oh, we got something up here, though. That room over there. The magla feels less dense compared to the rest of this place. Get some place to heal. Oh, please. Oh, that'd be amazing. Is that so? I don't feel anything. I thought it was just a feeling, but now I can see it. It's like the magla hallows out just for that room. Oh, you what? Back in the sanctum, I learned that fairies are natural adepts in sensing magla. Safe to assume that Gallic is no exception. Maybe we can rest here. Why don't we head inside? Is if there's a 100% heal, I'm about to grind like there's no tomorrow. We should catch our breaths before continuing. Okay. It's just like a mid midpoint. I'm starting to like reflect now, like, you know. Hey. Maybe it's because I just recently read Berserk, but maybe a lot of these uh, similarities in my mind with Galaka and Puck are uh, just kind of like fairy things from folklore. Could be, could be. Seems like an ideal place to rest. Just wondering why the Magla's thinner here. Can't tell you much. It's just like a feeling I get. There's varying intensity of the Magla that flows through the air. For example, think of it as like steam or smoke. Seems not much could seep into this room. Magla hollow, if you will. If your igniters won't work here. Hmm. A Magla Hollow seems as good a term as any. All the better if Galica can sense them. You could say that. It's easier to spot a big absence, or no, absence of Magla when the area around it is flooded with the stuff. All right. They seem loath to approach. Let's catch our breath. All right, sounds good. And they're just resting areas. Cool. Oh, you can go to Academia? That's what I wanted to hear. Hmm. I do kind of want to get Tarukaja on at least one character. Also, this passive makes support attacks from your comrades happen more easily in overworld combat. Oh, so that's not a guarantee. So I was noticing in some battles they were doing it, some battles they weren't. Good to know. I think I will use that, actually, or just go back to this for now. Also, low-key, I am sick of fighting with the staff. That crap sucks. And while we're here, we got the mag. Might as well teach it to him. I want to get him back on warrior, but, you know, this just makes sense. We get three people, Blizz. Oh my god, damn, he's got a big wingspan. <laughs> Taking up the whole screen. Ah, this is the power of the mage. Ready to unleash the new magic at my disposal. I'll fight for the powerless. Mmm, now I'm kind of worried. They'd only give us a safe spot if we're about to just fight something really tough. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Wait a second. Something feels really wrong further in. It might be what I'm sensing. Fortunately, we got no choice but to press on. Regardless of what lies ahead. Gonna open it. Are you ready? Uh, are we? No, no, no. Let's, let's get back to our normal party. I didn't know a boss was coming up. All that menuing just to go back to what we we're already doing. <laughs> I guess that's the downside of doing things for the first time, but... Uh... Uh... uh that is someone's grandpa. I mean, that's not even slightly intimidating. Okay, he is tall. I sense the glow of a strange crystal. An even stranger monster. Is that? I've never seen anything like it. It's a crystal. Of wrong magma. This feels wrong somehow. Yes, it looks like demonic. Now I remember. They say in the lands beyond mortal reach, great spires of crystal stand. And anyone who might touch them is driven mad. That's all just superstition, though, right? Still, this thing is giving off a really nasty aura. <laughs> That's no ordinary monster. Some kind of human? Well, he's awfully patient, letting us have his conversation. Oh, never the mind. The way it's moving. It's almost like it's... protecting the crystal. Here it comes. <laughs> what on earth was that sound? <laughs> Okay, let's figure this out. Could be honestly weak to anything. 
Uh, old people can regulate their body temperature as well. Let's hit them with ice. Well, fire would also work in that situation. Okay, I got so lucky there. Let's do that. And sadly, we can't change our archetypes mid-battle. So... We're gonna have to play a little close and just... Oh, wait, I did buy one of these ice chunks. Oh, this theme for the human is so good. I'm not gonna lie, not like the old one was bad, but it's just like... I feel like I'm doing something heroic here. Last time I was like, oh... You know, maybe the humans have a good point. Maybe there is a reason they should, you know, blow us all up. Alright, I'm not gonna use another item. Another diagonal slash, and off our turn. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh no, he's he's channeling my ability. To be hyper regard- Oh, front row. What? Oh! Oh my god! I actually have chills. Like, like, again, <laughs> he's getting chilled, but... This is kind of like a obscure reference. Does anyone remember the Ocarina of Time? Uh, trailer from way, way, way back. Getting those vibes, but I like, I like this new menu. To see like, oh, if they're like physically charged, magically charged, or... I don't know what that third one is, but I dig that. Sometimes I forget. I know the UI is busy. Like, let's not even, I'm not even gonna like, lie. It is. <laughs> Can hardly put my... You, you don't understand how hard it was to find even a place for the face game. Bonfire of Vanities? Totally dodged it. Okay, so there are going to be some boss fights revolving around the row system. Cool, cool, cool. Speaking of, but, uh, it is still sick. I guess my only, like, real, like, criticism is when it's not our turn anymore, that one thing that, like, you'll see in a second, but it just, like, makes you do the entire screen pink or blue. It's like, bro, I know whose turn it is. I, want, I just wonder why that is there. Like, what was the rationale? This was a massacre. Oh my god. What's on his head? Oh, we should probably like zoom in and see. Whoa, oh, oh no. Attack and defense. Is this an electric? No, it's just fire. Okay, we completely wrecked it. Nice. Let's, uh... You know, I don't know if we're gonna run in this guy again. Let's, uh... Analyze. Oh, look, look at him. He's kind of adorable in a... No, he's really not. Just die already. <laughs> I gotta admit. Oh, wait, I'm out of MP. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's really bad, actually. Come on, take your pills. Pills here. Okay. If we don't have enough damage, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, no. If Will dies, I will be so cross. Please connect. Okay. I'll show you the essence. F it, just guard, just guard. Kill the main character. Be out leveled. BOT. The sequel to BLT. Oh well that's fine. You know what? This is not efficient. That's my boy. Get him back up. Oh, but that was one of our turns. I mean maybe. God dang it. The desire to get everyone equal EXP. Will it be my undoing? I don't know. We gotta find out. Ice chunk. Hit it. I mean, it should do the same. Oh, thank God. Whew! Scared me there for a second. Okay, we got a Magla Potion as a reward. We did not, sadly, get that EXP on Seeker, but hey, that's fine, that's fine. What is this crystal? By my guess, the monsters were drawn to its aura. We shouldn't leave something so sinister just lying around. I'm not gonna touch that. Are you gonna- are you gonna hit it? Like... Throw a rock at it? I don't know. There's plenty to go around. Okay, that does it. All questions and answers, but... There's no time to ponder them. We better move. As if we didn't have enough mystery boxes. Goodness. Uh, what did- what did Gris say again? A world of... Nothing but... Magla crystal? No, that wasn't it. God, now I'm g oh. I'm gonna be worth thinking about that. Anyway, changing archetype back to uh, Seeker. We desperately need a healer now. I tried my hardest. It did not pan out. Oh, we actually equipped this. Huh. I kind of want this instead, even if it is like less defense. Traditionally, endurance is like the better stat to get. We also have to consider our melee weapons too. Like normally, those type of weapons are just completely forgotten about in these types of games. This time around, like, you use them in, like, before the battle even starts, so they're always relevant, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, wait. 
No, no, no. Strike that, uh, they're immune to. Gotta get back in the mindset of this again. I'm just whiffing hits like crazy. Oh, no, oh, no don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Hey, do, do you see that? Mm. What we got? <gasps> Already? Look at the size of it. Not something I'd hope to ever stumble upon. Afraid that's a dragon. A dragon? <laughs> you mean those creatures from Legends? I've never seen one with my own eyes. Now I understand why the mine was closed. Must have dug right into the thing's roost. No choice but to back off. But I mean, it's a straight. Oh my god. We gotta sneak around it? This is this is too cool. This mine taps a magnificent vein of resources. Only something as terrible as a dragon could have forced him to abandon such a lucrative operation. But luck is on our side. And we've caught it slumbering like this. We can slip past it and continue. Oh, I'm, ki I'm killing it, bro. I, I, I have to try. Almost a shame. That sorts of things, it's a little, well, big nest. Sends something tinged with magla, too. Dragons are ancient. Strong magla follows in their wake. Just the way it goes. Any so-called special item you're sensing is bound to have its fill of it. You're making it sound kind of appealing. We're setting up in a fight if we try to take it. To make this decision lightly, Will. On that note, let's push on. Quietly now. And I do mean that. Make that thing up. Win for the fight of our lives. But there are monsters around. They are war. <laughs> Calica, they're the teeth we one shot. I know. Choose your poison. <laughs> they see us and cause a ruckus. We're done for. Keep distance from them. So we make our way through. Oh, that's what they meant. Let's get going. Oh my god. I. I gotta try at least once, right? Like, I, I ain't no chicken. <sighs> but man, we are not doing well on the HP. Honest. Mmm. Okay, if we can recover our MP, I'll do it. I mean, it's not the biggest dragon I've ever seen. What are you doing, Will? <laughs> I know, I'm such a t Oh. Stop. Oh, your god, it's come for us! There's no way we beat this thing on hard mode. Oh my god, it, it is I was huge. You dog to fight. You're either bloody bold or too confident for your own good. I know, I couldn't take on the worms. Now I'm about to fight a worm. Just so we're clear. Sorry. Slaying the things beyond you. Underestimating a dragon is the fastest way to get yourself As, killed. You know, I'm just gonna throw I'm gonna throw one ice cube. We'll just see. Fortunately, this one's on the smaller side as dragons go. Oh. We might have a chance of driving it off. Listen! Keep an eye on its movements. Be ready for anything. If you sense it bracing to strike, stand your ground and shield yourself. Okay, so maybe we can. Do not waste your lives in a place like this. No. Let's go, lads. This is a true test. We're on a mission, and we won't turn back for anything. Not even a dragon. This is the coolest thing ever. Until I get one shot. I mean, let's just, if it has mechanics, maybe. It's doable. It is totally doable. We got one hit in. Fire dragon. Ice attack. Okay, if we just get super lucky and dodge every hit, it can happen. Come on. Oh, yeah. We got it. I'm gonna get you in the back because I have no idea what it's about to do. How many of these did I bought? Wait, what is this? Decreases defense for three. When did I get that? Oh, from a slime. Should I use it at the start of the next turn? Yeah, yeah. I, sh I should save that. That is smarter. Just just guard for now and see what happens. Oh, we have enough MP. And we have like 10 uses of Blizz each, right? Something like that. It's totally killable. Yo! Yo! That is... Dude. Somehow the worm was doing more damage. This is huge for us. Actually, we should start with the corrosive acid for the maximum amount of damage. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Oh man, this would be so much better if I had the goddamn uh the seeker Tarukaja. Then we'd be hitting for way harder. Oh well. If we fail, we can just you know grind up a little bit, try again. That's what that's the beauty of these games. Was that max damage? I can't tell. Whatever. It's a good enough turn. Fireball coming out. I do he ate that up Hit him not so much. All right. That's that's a problem. We have no healer. Oh, do I have the item that heals us? If anybody should use it, it should be him. That's all the healing I have. That's bad. Oh No, hey, you know on bright side. We got one way to heal. All right Toss that over to Greece. Just keep up the volley. It's working out We have a goddamn dragon to half HP. He's gonna one-shot me Those are explosive barrels right behind will 
I see I see the mechanics in real time. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. Can't give up now. No, no, not now. Dang it. That's a wipe. Yep. Any more items? Oh, this is flying by. Oh my god, we already got it! What the cr- Okay, so... The mage archetype is really good for... Well, I guess, like, easy grinding. Which I guess is why it has the moveset it has. But seriously, we just... I kind of walk in here. You know, hey, how you guys doing? So I have 64 HP. Oh, and I still have 64 HP. Okay, well, I was just driven. When I kill something, though, it looked like I was gaining HP and MP. Oh, it was just MP. Okay, okay. But the point is, Stroll now has Blizz. I'm a kill a dragon. Spend my life saving on potions and pointy hats. Let's kill this thing. Blizz is going out. Everyone's in the back row. How could we lose? I think we need like 30 blizzes to win though. That's a lot. Additionally, I gave Will an accessory. Increase his defense a little bit. I don't know if that overrides his uh, magic hat, but whatever. Do this on the first turn, then end next. No, 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 we should do this now. What is more damage? When should we use the Corrosive Acid? Honestly, right now seems good. Whatever. I'm, I'm overthinking. Bro, just get the damage out there. And it does suck we don't have a source of Tarakaja. Actually, I might. Like, if this if this run doesn't work, I will put in a Magic Seeker, I guess. Mm. Okay, okay. That's like 600 damage in one turn. How much health does it have? It's gotta be like around 4,000. Okay, we're about half. If it goes for the if it goes for the Tail Swipe, that's what got us last time. So I can't let anybody be under half. That's just not gonna fly. And as long as nobody misses. Yeah, we got it. We can actually take our time here, bro. This isn't even that bad. I fought worse. It is kind of crazy. This is at the start of the game though, but I love stuff like this. Okay. I think I will be a little on the reserve side. Go for another little bit of healing. The corrosive acid should end this turn, but it'll be all right. I'm gonna feel really dumb if the warrior gets Rakunda and I didn't know. Oh, oh, that's our boy. That's our boy. Can you proc your shadow clones? And I think, I think that's a wrap. The dragon choked. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, second try. Second try, please, please. Did no whammies. We didn't miss. Let's go. That's 130 times six. Man, I can't do math. Who am I kidding? All right, <laughs> let's get him, dude. So we did lose the resistance from, you know, being a war. He didn't go for tail swipe. Oh, you know what it is? Because we're not under half. The AI on hard mode. It's such oh, look at the little dragon. Too bad. I want your treasure. I just gotta hope it does not have a desperation move. I can't believe I did this. Oh, that's all you got? Do another, do another. Like I care. If that crit though, we 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 definitely like that would suck. But he didn't! Yeehaw! I audibly said yeehaw. I'm having a little too much. Let's just let's take it down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, an amethyst. Well, we just got back our life for, you know, all that money I spent. Heck yeah. I just realized I had five points in magic. So that's like as hard as it can get. I'm still going for strength. I don't give a crud. Didn't think that through, though. I won't lie. Oh. I guess we'll see it some other day, maybe. Ooh. That ruled. That was close. Somehow we managed to drive it off. Never thought I'd ever have to fend off a dragon. You lot never cease to amaze me. Perhaps we simply had luck on our side this time. Must admit, however, my heart sank the moment that dragon woke up. What'd I do? If anyone truly intends to kill the beast, they need to have a gauntlet runner. A gauntlet runner? Would certainly make our return to Grand Trad much easier. You may as well wish for the moon. One of the most prominent nobles have the means to secure runner for themselves. Or your local bandits. Sorry to interrupt, but look at that. Over there, isn't that a treasure chest? Well, in this cave? That's crazy. Oh, never seen one that shiny, though. Don't be a joke item, please. Please. It's gotta be decent, right? Oh. Dragon indignation. A great sword embodying the fury of a dragon. Can oh my god, what? That's got I gotta check that out right now. First off, you, back on warrior. Who are we kidding? He automatically equips it. Let's check that out. Oh, that looks sick! Yo, yo, stand, stand. Oh, yeah, we're at like 1 HP. All the other items were just, you know, stuff we sell. God dang, that looks so cool. I'm mad I'm not the warrior. Ugh. Anyway, I did that out of sheer laziness. I don't want, I don't have to deal with this sneaking around bullcrap. Not my style. 
Oh, there's not even any enemies nearby anymore. Huh. Well, all in all, pretty good first dungeon. I mean, they gave us a human fight, which I assume was like almost a unique model or something. And is that the exit? A dragon, that rules. We finally made it out. So we can finally breathe. At least for a moment. What? It's be- Could it be? No! Excuse me? Look. A dragon's ro- And you feel that shaking? It's back. Uh, what the- It's getting stronger! What's going on? Oh my- Oh, it's running away. Caven! You value your lives! Run! Oh, we don't. That was close. This is a this is a cool set piece. Seriously, what's all about the boxes? Just doesn't even make any sense. Oh god, are we gonna actually fail? Probably not. Say, how fast is old man? Hold up. What's that sound? Well, I guess. <laughs> hope we got everything in that dungeon you needed. Uh, we actually made it out. And in one piece, no less. Speak for yourself. I think that shaved a couple years off my life. What was gonna happen? You couldn't fall down the cave. You can fly. You just want to complain, Galica. I get it. I do that too. Damn storm. Can't afford too many delays, but we'll not be getting far in this torrent. We can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow once we're out of the wastes. We'll have to. If we want to make it in time. Public carriage seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral. We'll be three faces among hundreds. Lovely. Another carriage ride. Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. <laughs> Let's just get our camp set up. Somewhere dry, preferably. Sounds good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty attached to our squad. We've already been through so much. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Not bad. Ah, oh, this is so cozy. I feel alive again. Oh my god, what are we eating? It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Back then, I wouldn't have been caught dead out in the wilderness like this. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly, I despised them for it. Back then, I thought being a noble was about I don't know. A life of prestige. Being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this horrific creature. A human. Though I had no idea at the time. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter. But they would never come. Parents I'd so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. Oh my god. <sighs> that just turns your whole life on its head, doesn't it? Well, they, I guess that inspired him to be a hero too. Your parents were heroes. It changed everything. It taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now. A footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. <sighs> I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were, now I think, what if the army, well, Luis, what if he's the one who abandoned us? If we were just a pawn in his game, then... Then I will make him pay. <sighs> hey, Grius. We all trust each other now, don't we? I think we can tell him. Aye. Maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad's sword put me in mind of the past. Something special about that sword? Well... We used it to identify the messenger from our faction, but it originally belonged to his highness. A kingly gift from his father. No way. And here I was, <laughs> swinging around a stick for whole th this whole dungeon. <laughs> to better suit his highness and his keen aptitude for magic, that blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. 
Of course, when Swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it to glide about. <laughs> <laughs> A royal rascal, that one. Those days were all too short. Then, twelve years ago, it all came crashing down. I've heard. The prince was attacked, right? There was a plot on his life. One I wish I'd rooted out sooner. Just like tonight, it was pouring rain. Your Highness, this way! Oh, man. That small god. Hey, but he's got it. Who these blackguards into the palace? I say he's got his back, but we know how this ends. Oh. Her too. My lord, are you hurt? Back! A royal knight. A wench and nothing more. Oh, well, we can't be calling girls wenches. Don't call them wenches, bro. Come on. We're better than that. Oh. He Dang, she's just... You know nothing of true knighthood. She's on another level. Life to the prince, and I'll not lose it to you! Just like that? That's the most bullcrap spell ever. He didn't even say anything. Don't fall to give chase! That's... Stop! They dare harm him! Oh, thank God. I can't wait with a lot of blood in this game. But I got I got I'm not complaining, I'm just like surprised, I guess. Wait, he's back? Oh no, you gotta be joking. So that means we can get revenge, okay. I mean yeah, I'm trying to look on the positive side. <laughs> so everyone's connected. Wait, what? I don't get I it. Failed. I know that's the one that... Yeah, she... Highness! She Highness! attacked too. What is this? His Highness survived the attack, but... The curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Of all the mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him. And he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way. To dispel the curse, its caster must die. Wait, so that was Luis back then? And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? What if it's not? What if it was like a henchman? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now. And shorter besides. I could never mistake him. <laughs> Shall I throw that in there? He's yeah, sure. Real sure. Shorter than Will. Gee, thanks. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but savior for his highness, for the king, and for the very future of this country, he must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see justice served. I see. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. I mean, it's probably, you know, if you were going to backstab us, probably would have done it with the dragon. A rogue never forgets a debt. A rogue. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. Oh, I guess that's his tribe. I didn't, I didn't consider that. But neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life. And we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country. Together. That's the plan, bro. 
Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. Uh, oh, yeah. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. Not a bad moment. Everyone's just, we gotta kill this guy. There's no way around it. Like, he definitely deserves it. I don't think anyone can deny that. If Grius is, you know, it's accurate. I'm not, I'm not saying his vision's not... I don't want to be ableist. Let's just, you know, let's, let's believe him. Sometime after the assault, together with a small entourage, we decided to take his highness out in secret to an appropriate hiding place. It was attacked in the royal palace, a place where he was supposed to be safest. We knew not when he attacked again. We stayed in Grand Trad. Naturally, his highness was considered missing, and eventually his death was deemed official. From that time on, organization was formed to restore his highness to power. We got a name or something? I'm sure there are those who resent us for vanishing from the palace without a word. After all, even the royal guards who protected his highness were kept in the dark. They had known. They had no choice but to stop us. If they had accompanied us or let us go, they would have been guilty of treason. Terrible fate for young knights. I have so much ahead of them. Makes me wonder, you know, what... What happened to his, uh, you know, red-headed defender? What's going on with her? Thought to join the army. Work my way up the ranks, the traditional way. Never thought things would turn out like this. Didn't expect to run into humans and dragons. Want to be bestowed with an extraordinary power. Is this path I was always headed for? Or is this all thanks to you? <laughs> well, I'm not complaining either way. Once we pull off the assassination and the prince returns to power, I think our country will be a better path. I'll get my revenge on Luis, no matter what it takes. Though I must admit, all this camping is taking its toll on me. Delicious meal would really be nice once we're in Grand Trad. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to carb up, bro. Can't be going assassinating. <laughs> just, it feels so weird to just say, like, you know, openly, well, once the assassination's done, everything's gonna be better. That's... But it's true. You're He's gotta go down. I'm not kidding. He's gotta die. I can't believe... Not just you, but Stroll and Grius have awakened this power. I heard that mysterious voice again when it happened. Wonder what it was. I'm exhausted. Mala was usually dense, and now it's already dark. I'm wondering if that's what's surrounding all the air. I wasn't paying attention, as per usual, inside the, uh, you know, the hollow. But was there any in there? I just thought it was just like, you know, that's what air looks like in their universe. Oh, I am beat. The characters are beat. So we're going to end it there. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode of Metaphor v. Fantasio. We explored our first real dungeon and took down a dragon. Also, there's a human at some point. Yeah, he was kind of a pushover. So, <laughs> But next time, I guess we're making our way back to the capital of Grand Trad. See you then. Bye.